Hey, what's up, guys? This is going to be um, an impromptu video, and I don't know. I guess I'm gonna have to. Let, you guys are gonna have to tell me if you want more of this because I could do more. But this is just. Well, here's the story. I got a, I got boxes, three boxes here, and actually got more boxes of stuff that my parents gave me um, a few months ago. This this particular box and these these actually the three particular boxes are CD cases, like actual CDs, like this. And I have cases of these, and I, I thought it'd be fun to just kind of go through these, because I haven't really looked at these. Um, a lot of these musical tastes are like uh, CDs are from the um, early 2000s when I was in um, college and high school and stuff, and uh, and actually late 90s, like some of these stuff too, but lots of crap, basically, that I'm not necessarily as, as, as into anymore, but still have CD cases and CDs. Um, so I figured for fun, we could go through a box here, and, and I could just show you what I used to listen to. And some still do kind of listen to, but mostly don't listen to anymore. But uh, I thought it would be kind of fun. So I figured I'd do one here, and if you guys liked it, I could do more. So uh, without further ado, let's get, look, let's get looking here. Actually, on top here, I've got some comics or some graphic novels that I used to... Um, some Hulk comics. I think these are the same series. One, two, three, four, five, I think. Yeah, these are the same series of comics as the Hulk. Hide in plain sight. Sorry, I'm fucking around with the fucking thing here. Abominable. And then what's this one? Transfer of power. And boiling point. Is that the same art that I'm thinking of? Yeah. I remember that comic series. Anyway, that's just sitting on top. Let's take a look, see here. Um Metallica's Garage Inc. Like I said, these CDs are not in here. It's just empty cases that have been sitting in my my room down in my basement for the last 20 fucking years. What year is this? This is from 2000... Oh, wait, no. 1998. Uh, it's a two-disc set. It's um, covers from Metallica's youth or whatever. It's actually decent covers on there. Um, what's Turn the Pages on there? And um, Die, Die, My Darling, Loverman. Uh, Tuesday is Gone. And then other ones like uh, Stone Cold Crazy... Blitzkrieg. Lots of crazy shit. Um, like I said, a lot of this stuff I'm not so much into anymore. Misfits. I don't even, I don't even recognize this. Is this mine? This is my brother's. There's no CD in there. I don't recall liking them. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what the fuck is UPO? Featuring Godless. Oh, now I think of it. I think I recognize that song. Huh. Huh. Kenna. Oh, I'm st I still like Kenna. That's, um... There's actually a pretty interesting story around this CD being uh, released. I actually got a burned copy of this CD back in 1997 or 98, I think. Well, that's not true. 99, probably. Um, most of these songs were available. There's actually a song in here called, um... Hell bent right there that uh, I saw the video for way back when but the CD was not out or the, the it would just it took years to actually be released because it was gonna be released under some other record company I think it was flawless records which was like Limp Biscuit, what's his face Fred Durst's record label and then it went defunct so then Kenna had to find a new label and it was eventually released under who is this Columbia Records and uh, yeah I love this this album I think there's a case in here. I didn't see anything. I can't open this shit. And then I look at the... Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty... It's transparent here. Uh, more Metallica. Okay, so this is kind of impromptu. I wasn't actually planning on this. I mean, this might be a short video. They won't do so much. Oh, look. Look at that. Fucking Creed. That's, like, embarrassing now. This might actually be my my brother's box. A lot of this stuff I feel like is not mine. But uh, who here liked Creed back in the day? Look at that. Scott Staff. No thank you. Uh, Rob Zombie. What is this? What's, what album is this? American Made Meat. It's like to strip by. What's on this album? Dragula? Is this the right album? 
think I think I'm thinking of the greatest hits album. So yeah, I forgot. Yes, it released Living Dead Girl. Yeah, okay, I remember this now. I forgot that. I've, I've been listening to that other album. Yeah, this one here. No, that's Hobby Deluxe. What the heck? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Where'd that go? I just lost it. Where'd it go? There it is. What year was this? I'm sorry, I'm going off track here, but I'm just curious. That's 1999. Is this 98? Yeah, so it must be a best of or something or a, diff a different, um... Whatever. Huh. Is that Sherry Moon Zombie again, too? God, she's everywhere. Whatever. Um, what else? Disturbed. I was really into them for a period. I still don't... I don't dislike them, but they're not really my thing anymore. Oh. <laughs> this exists. Amish Paradise. That's fucking funny. Um, more Metallica. By the Lightning. Everyone had that. Lincoln Park. I gotta say, I was never a huge Lincoln Park fan, but a lot of my friends, where my wife is, was, well, you know, after Chester died a couple years ago, it's been kind of whatever. But uh, they made okay music. Um, what is this? Oh, the thing must have fallen out, but that's fine. Stained. I was into them for a while, too. Um... This album was okay. This is this is definitely one of the more harder albums. This is their first, well, their second album. But um, they had Sh Mud Shovel and Just Go and um, Crawl, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, what's this? Oh God. Ugh. That happened too. Twisted. There was a period in my life where I listened to this crap too. Our letter peace. I just really love. This is a Canadian band. I, I I like a lot of their stuff, but um, um, I haven't listened to the more recent stuff. I, I like their stuff from the early ninety, mid nineties to the late two thousands. <coughs> Excuse me. Rain Maida. That's his name. I think. He's got a weird voice, but um, I like their earlier stuff personally. See there. Yeah, I was into them too. Sublime. Ugh, I don't think I can listen to Sublime now. Nothing Face. I used to like them. That's some good music. I don't think they have a band anymore. Uh, let's go, what's over here? Corn. I used to love Corn. This is from two. Th hold on. This is from 94, I think. 1994. I can't believe they were around back then. But, um, I don't like all their music, but this album is still, I mean, considering what it come, what it, where it came from and what it meant, it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty good stuff. Whoa, dropping shit. Um, oh, Finger Eleven, I used to really love Finger Eleven. I can have a Canadian band, actually. This is Canadian, too. Um, this album wasn't the best, but it was okay. I think they had a couple songs. One Other Light, that's okay. Good times. Eh. Yeah. Godhead. I used to love Godhead too. Goth metal or whatever the fuck this shit is. Industrial. I can't open this shit. There's no CDs in there. What's this? I think that's Finger Eleven actually. Does it say? Uh, no. But I think it's Finger Eleven from 2000. Um, three Doors Down, Godsmack, Nine Point, The Union Underground. I think that's that song, Turn Me On, Mr. Deadman, I think. Where is it? Yeah, Turn Me On, Mr. Deadman. That's the track on here. Fucked up. This is fucked up shit here, man. Um, what's that? Scorpion King? Oh, <laughs> it's a soundtrack to the Scorpion King. Yeah, it's got my kind of music on there. Um, what else we got here? Green Day. I was really into Green Day. Actually, right here. Green Day and Bush. Those were my bands back in the day, back in the 90s. I really loved Bush. Bush is still okay. But, you know, 
Green Day has been around for too long now, I think. I used to love this album, Nimrod. I had a couple shirts with Nimrod stuff on it. Back when I was a dumbass teenager. Uh, live. I used to like Live, too. This is their second album, Secret Samadhi. Not as good as Throwing Copper. That's me. Lucky's Juice. Metal Snake. Turn My Head. Freaks. Yeah. America. Static X. I really liked Static X for a long time, too. Wayne Static died, what, four years ago now? That's too bad. It was pretty cool. Actually, don't forget, was it, was it an overdose? I forget what happened now. Would he have a heart attack? I did not remember, but that was sad. Um, Dave Matthews Band, is that right? Yeah, I have this album. There's a couple okay songs on here. Incubus, Earshot, System of a Down. I used to love them, too. They haven't made an album in years. This is probably the most popular album, Chop Suey. Yeah, I used to like that shit, too. Um, Cold... I have Coldplay. I do not remember buying this. This might not be mine. Hmm. What's this? Oh, it's Iron Maiden... Uh, Edward the Great, Greatest Hits. I only like a couple songs on here. I'm not a huge Iron Maiden fan. Yeah, no disc. Run to the Hills is the only song I can even think of to them. Of them. Um, Nirvana. From the Muddy Banks of the Wishka. Is this, a, is this a live album, actually? It might be. Dredge. I used to like them. Edema. I don't know if they're a band anymore. Yeah. Sorry, I'm all over the place here. I like Dredge. They're pretty good. Recommend trying them out. And then Seven Dust here. What's this? What's that? I was really into Seven Dust. This is actually one of my favorite albums of theirs, Animosity. From 2000 to 2001. This whole album's pretty good. I'm still making music too, but again, I think I just kind of got out of the, that music. It's fucking stupid. But yeah. Live Again is good, beautiful, praise, crucified, Xmas Day, shine, follow. All good songs. Angel's Son with the. It's like a tribute to the snot member that died. More Static X. Machine. Um, from Zero, that's familiar. Oh, I got Raging Against the Machine, too. Because you got to have some rage. I like this album. It wasn't as good as the first album, but... This is their, this is their second album, isn't it? It's from 1999. Zack de la Roca. Tom and, uh, Oh, and then right here, let's just end it with this. Queen Greatest Hits. Gotta love Queen. I actually just did an unboxing of um, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's it. That's pretty cool, isn't it, guys? That's a lot of stuff here. Um, there's some other Tantric, Alice Cooper, Nirvana, Power Man 5000, Metallica, Metallica, all kinds of stuff. So, yeah. That's it, guys. Like I said, let me know if you like this. I don't have to make these. I just figured it would be something different. And this has been sitting here for months, and I've been meaning to throw it away or, you know, take care of this. But I got more boxes here if you wanted to see more. Um, POD. American Head Charge. I remember them. This is a Minneapolis band, too. Again, I don't even know if they're still a band. Damn. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you liked this, and uh, I guess I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys, and bye.